A live look now at our Bay Area airports where frustration is growing over more Southwest Airlines flight delays and cancellations. People still stranded. Let's go live to Oakland International Airport. KPI X5's Andrea Borba has the latest on this changing situation. Andrea? Well, Alan, it is day three of extensive flight cancellations for Southwest Airlines and passengers annoyed by long lines, long phone wait times, and simply not sleeping in their own bed are frustrated and fed up. Still clad in their flip-flops, James Shake and Trent McKay are on day two of trying to get from Hawaii back home to Denver on Southwest Airlines. And our first flight got canceled yesterday morning, rebooked with a later flight. And then uh, that got delayed for seven hours and then got on the plane. And then at that moment, after everybody was seated. They spent $140 for a hotel in Oakland and are still trying to get home today. And even that is not looking promising. Uh, the flight for today, the one that we rebooked, has been delayed again. Um, so just hoping it doesn't get canceled again. Over the weekend, Southwest canceled more than 2,000 flights and another 360 today. The low-cost airline said in a statement, we experienced weather challenges compounded by unexpected air traffic control issues. The FAA rebutted by saying no FAA air traffic shortages have been reported since Friday. Some airlines continue to experience scheduling challenges due to aircraft and crews being out of place. There was some weather in Jacksonville, Florida that briefly grounded flights on Friday night, but other carriers recovered with American and Spirit reporting only 4 and 2 percent of their flights canceled over the weekend. Aircraft and crews were just out of place, so it just led to this cascade of delays that just got worse. The mayhem at Southwest counters and gates came hours after the Southwest Pilots Union filed a lawsuit in federal court against the COVID-19 vaccine mandate, which is set to take effect on December 8th. In a statement, though, the union denies that their pilots took part in any official or unofficial labor action against the airline over the lawsuit. None of the why matters to travelers like James and Trent, who just want to go home. Every 30 minutes or so, you know, it keeps getting bumped back, you know, another 10, 20 minutes, and it's kind of the same thing that was happening yesterday, so just kind of crossing fingers. Now, Southwest has announced they will be further trimming back their schedule for the fall and upcoming winter holidays. Alan? But, Andrea, cancellations certainly aren't anything new for Southwest. They certainly aren't, but at this point, in this point this year, in 2021, they are leading all major carriers in flight cancellations, Alan.